Hello my loves. Right, today I've got my daughter in for her nails. She can have her nails done now. She's not working at McDonald's anymore. So this is great. So I'm going to ease her in gently. She does have very tiny nail beds, but they're bigger than the last time you saw her, which was like two years ago when she had her prom at school. Um, she's now 18 and all grown up. So I have applied the Glitter Planet Ultra Thin Tapered Square Tips. I've done all the prep work. I am now just shaping these tips up because she wanted quite a nice ballerina nail. Um, so I'm just using my outer space scissors and trimming up the sides. And then I've just whizzed my file over. I am dehydrating the nails. And lately I've not been using acid base primers. I've been using the Young Nails Protein Bond because it works with anything and it's really gentle and I've had amazing results. So I am continuing to use it. Um, not, I wasn't really having any lifting problems before. I just wanted to try using a protein bond and just see. I was just curious, really. So I'm doing that and I'm now applying... A thin clear base of acrylic um, using Nail Mates Crystal Clear and Nail Mates Monomer. And we just do that to all the nails. Now I know you're going to get frustrated with me again and I really apologise but there is a glitter that I'm using in this set and I can't tell you where to get it from yet. Um, and I apologise, it's just that people I've got to start doing some designs with it for, for um, the company that's launching it and people are wanting it they're like oh I want that oh I want that so and I want to film and I don't have time to do lots of different things so as soon as the product is available I will put it actually pin it to the top of the comments section um, so just check back there I guess but you'll see it on social media anyway when it's available, no doubt. So again, just thin clear base on there. Keeping it the right ratio. Don't go wishy-washy in it with you know, too much monomer because you, you just get lifting. Right, now onto this. I'm doing, I'm using um, Valentino. I wanna say bear me. Bear me, I'm sure that's what it is. Um, it's like a natural. Um, it's not white, it's not nude, it's just a really natural colour. Really neutral colour. Very neutral toned. Because this particular glitter, which I'm now applying to it, has the silver stars and it also has these um, natural, slightly peachy tone, I guess, pieces in it, as well as the silver. And I just didn't want a nude acrylic that would take away from the glitter. And Chloe wanted a very neutral toned set because she's got lots of events coming up. So she wanted something she could wear with different outfits, which is why she chose that glitter. Because it's got the sparkle and it's got the, the fancy look without too much colour. Very nice and neutral, very beautiful. So I'm... Putting because she's got tiny nails and it's is quite a chunky cut and mi well it's a it's a mixture of tiny bits and big bits. It's a real multi cut. I'm actually wetting the nail down and then applying little pieces of a, of the glitter where I want it, which is what I kind of do with the chunkier mixes. Unless I've got a bigger canvas to work on, then you can just wallop it all on. But yeah, just placing things where they look cute. On to the next nail. Now I'm going to do on this one a ombre. So I'm applying the glitter at the tip of the nail. You've got that beautiful colour. Now it, when the light catches it, it's just got this beautiful, warm, natural peachy hue to it and it's so pretty. This is one of my favourites but... And I know, I'm sorry. I hate like getting excited about something and not being able to tell you where to get it, but it's worth the wait, I promise. 
but I, do, I promise I'll let you know as soon as I can. It's just not my place to say. And even if you guys guess, I can't tell you. So, just, I'm sorry. I do love you. Um, one good thing I can tell you, one good thing I can tell you, <laughs> two good things actually, is that in April, I will be doing the Shrovsky course here in Swindon. And I think we're looking at the last, I was looking at the beginning of May, then I realized it's the Pro Beauty event in Birmingham. Can't do that. Or Beauty UK. Um, oh, I'm doing a full nail of Bear Me by Valentino here. So we'll just let that play and I'll explain everything to you. So then I realized I can't do that. And the Maybank holiday has gone all skew with this year. And I thought, right, okay. So we're looking at probably last week of April at some point, I will confirm dates. I have got a few people already written up for the course um, who don't even know the date. They're just, they're like, I'm down, I'm coming, that's it, just count me in. But I don't have like endless spaces. So I, I will have to, I'm so sorry, but I will have to cap it and I will have to turn people away and you'll have to wait for the next one if you don't get in quick enough. And I know that might sound mean, it's not my place. I have a limit on how many people I can take care of because <laughs> I can't show you, I can't show you all. You know what I mean? I can't spend quality time with everyone. And what I'm gonna do as well is we'll have the opportunity to, after the course, to chill out, you know, have a few drinks and just, I don't know, take so many selfies that our faces fall off and just have a good laugh and celebrate. So yeah, should be good, should be exciting. Um, my email address is in the description box or and all my social media links. So you can contact me for details and then I will email you. So send me your email address and I'll email you everything over because there's a lot and it's super exciting. It's a good read. Um, and I'm also gonna be going to Bournemouth to do a course probably in June. So if you're gonna be in, Ju in Bournemouth in June and you wanna get on board the Shrovsky train, hit me up and I'll send you the details for that as well. And if you want me to come to your area in the UK, let me know. Let's see if we can sort something out because I'm going on a road trip. Right, so I've done that nail with Bear Me. I'm now doing another glitter fade. This one is going to be glitter at the cuticle, fading into a clear tip. So pretty much the same concept, just the other way around. Um, I've added the smaller pieces, then I'm going to go in and like strategically place the bigger stars where I want them. I think that's what it's about don't get freaked out by the chunky mixes regardless of what you're working with just just think of where you want things to go and just place them you don't need to like slap it all on in one go we're keeping it nice and flat as well very pretty onto the thumb now the thumb is going to be a full glitter nail so I can apply a bigger bead to this using that rolling technique because I've got more space and this is actually a good opportunity for you to see the glitter and how what it looks like it's really pretty um, but also to see sort of how I work on a full nail with a chunkier mix you just nudge it around while that acrylic is setting up you nudge the glitter around don't be don't be intimidated by it as long as you press it down and have it nice and flat, you'll be good to go. Sorry if you can hear the clock ticking, but I'm in the kitchen. Add in some more of those beautiful stars. I think they're called stars, I don't know. They're like little things, aren't they? I'm not an expert. They just look shiny, shiny and pretty. Pretty and shiny. Right. Now, I'm going to do the fade, the ombre on this one, so I'm adding Bare Me and just blending that down into the glitter and then just building it up in the cuticle area until I'm happy with that. I will then go ahead and cap all the nails, apart from the one that is completely Bare Me, because Bare Me is a cover powder. So I will go ahead and cap all those. I'll let you watch that bit and I will just take a bloody breath because I'm knackered. <laughs> Yo ya sé que contigo estamos a con tu abrigo a lo 
atractivo, a lo agresivo, a lo agresivo. Eres prohibida como falso negativo. Tú y yo queriéndonos como locos y con Somos los dos. Tú y yo queriéndonos. Estamos melo en el trono. Oh, baby, estoy loco por ti. Okie dokie, I've also kept in some of the filing for you, but it was really awkward to file with the light in front of my face and the camera to the left hand side of me because I still haven't got, I need to get my camera arm, I'm going to order that tonight um, because it's really, really awkward, but you can see a bit of the filing anyway. Okay, so that's a bit of the filing. That's all you get in because it's just bloody awkward. Right, we're going to use some a collection of Shrovsky crystals and these new Shrovsky pearls that I got when I went to London. 
Um, I'll just show you them. Oh my God, they're so gorgeous. They're perfect for wedding season. They're just fantastic. Um, I'll list all the names of everything down below. Um, the Val Anything Valentino. Oh, you saw my Valentino dust collector as well. Still got it, still fantastic. Still amazing. Um, everything that's Valentino and Swarovski is available from Angel Crystals. So I'll link it below in the description box. So if you want to find any of that, search through Angel Crystals. They've got bloody everything. It's amazing. And there's a 5% discount code. You just type in Sarah B5 at the checkout and you'll get 5% off. So I'm going to just let you watch this little crystal creation. It wasn't planned. I just got a colour palette of crystals that I felt complemented the style of the set. And then I just sort of went with it and just did it. And normally I plan these things out, but I was really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it looks like a piece that would be on like a nice pretty cardigan or shawl. So I really, really like it. So friggin' sparkly girl. Okay, now it's time to top coat. It is time to shine. I forgot to say it, didn't I, earlier? It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. I've got so many sayings, if it ain't matte, it ain't capped. You know it. Do they go in your head while you're watching? Let me know. <laughs> is my annoying voice in your mind? <laughs> So we're going to top coat these, the first three. So the pinky, the ring finger and the index finger, I will top coat and put them straight in the lamp because I want to spend some time on the crystal nail. So, and what I don't want is the top coat I've applied to the other nails suddenly just pooling back into the cuticle area. So I'd rather get those straight in the lamp. Oh, it's so pretty. It's only when you see the shot at the end that you really see how gorgeous these are because I film at an awkward angle. Not for much longer when I order my filming arm tonight. Right, going in with a detailer brush to do this one. I'm not even going to attempt to go near it with a big brush. We'll just get everything done with a detailer brush and tuck it all in nicely and then cure it for 60 seconds. Take some weight off our shoulders The fight isn't over Can you let me be be tonight? I will need some time alone Not forever But when we're together It feels like my spark's been left in the dark sometimes Cause when I'm with you it's just like an airway Better than a band this could be love, not sure, but I'm probably right. When you're around, I can say what I want to say. So hard to concentrate. This is all that I need and more. Perfectly safe and sure. Up 
finally took some weight off our shoulders so this fight is over can you stay with me tonight and then we have the beautiful thumb these went in the lamp for 60 seconds we applied cuticle oil got the fluffy mat out of the cupboard and here's the final reveal i hope you've enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one tally bye Sure, but I'm probably right. When you're around, I can say what I wanna say. So hard to come.